The plan today was to show off a massive mod for the return of Mod Monday. Only I stumbled upon this comment here from You Want My Pancake and was immediately curious. Not because that is just a fantastic name, but the Beefalo Milk Mod? The heck are you on about? But sure enough, I did some digging, and it's a thing. Created by Black Mirror and Raccoon, please allow me to introduce you to the Beefalo Milk mod, everyone. The mod itself adds 12 additional food recipes and items to the game and does so without fuss. These types of mods are some of my favorite, as they not only not break the game or make something overly tedious for no reason, they introduce new mechanics and content smooth enough to the point where it just simply feels natural. Everything about this mod leads to the next, and it just works. So, allow me to explain. In a mod titled Beefalo Milk, you would think that you would be able to milk beefalo, right? Right. And doing so is as easy as a right click on the horny furballs. Problem is that there is an 80% chance for them to knock a silly during the process. We could wear armor, of course. However, the beefalo hat will reduce that chance down to a mere 25%, which is still up there, yeah, but better than 80% the last time I checked. Very nice. Oh, and do keep in mind, though, that we can only milk the beefs when they are awake, and if they are wallowing in sorrow over their fur, they still won't produce the goods either. And as far as I can tell, you can milk a beefalo every few minutes, and supposedly, their milk production overall is slower in the summer season. So, that's a nice touch. So, what do we receive upon milking them beefs? Well, that'd be milk, you fool. What kind of question even is that? Raw milk, though, is what you'll be seeing, and as far as stats go, it ain't exactly pretty. Only 4.7 hunger, minus 10 sanity, and minus 8 health. Yikes. So it looks like we have some work to do. Well, really, it will be the crockpot doing all the dang work, as most everything within this mod stems from it. Like fresh milk here. Place four raw milk within a pot and you'll receive a healthy beverage that will restore 12.5 hunger, 3 health, and 10 sanity a sip. Not overly exciting, but remember what I said prior. Everything leads to something in this mod. But before we get to that, note that fresh milk can be a substitute for electric milk for the ice cream recipe. Lovely. So, let's just say you toss together four fresh milks instead. What do you get then? Well, my friends, we now have cheese in this game. The yellow stuff with holes offers 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, and 3 health per chunk, which is very reasonable, I'd say, considering the multiple steps in order to reach it. And can I just say two? All of the sprites for these new recipes are so dang crisp. Well done there. But something that may make you unwell is Age Cheese, a food item that will grant 75 hunger, 50 sanity, matching ice cream for the most sanity gained by a food item, mind you, and 3 health overall. Now that might sound a little too good, but consider this. In order to get Age Cheese, you must first milk enough beefalo to even make enough fresh milk to then make cheese, only to then have to wait 15 days for it to spoil into age cheese. So yep, the modders did an amazing job of thinking through the balance of it all. So great work there. This next set of cheesy goodness will require curd at their base. So how do we go about getting that? Well, as if this mod didn't already have stacks upon stacks of connected dishes, we have to wait for fresh milk to spoil over the course of a few days and then the curd will be ours. Alone, curd restores nearly 20 hunger, 10 sanity, and 3 health, which isn't terrible, but what it leads to is far more superior. Like white cheese, for example. 
These blocks of Dairy Delight do happen to restore the same stats as their yellow cousins. However, aged white cheese would like a word with us. Wait out the 15 days once more and enjoy a rancid looking food that will still give back 75 hunger, 5 sanity, and 60 health a munch. Incredible, but not easy to amass. And that is perfection as far as I'm concerned. But to wrap us up, let's talk the specialty dishes of this mod. Throw together two fresh milks, a chunk of ice, and two berries to make a refreshing berry milkshake. The beverage will restore 18.8 hunger, 20 sanity, which is quite nice actually, and 8 health per slurp. However, do expect a decrease in your temperature for about 10 seconds after drinking one of these things as well. So, enjoy. Cheesecake can now find its way into our bellies if we choose to add white cheese, an egg, fruit, and honey together within a crock pot. And not only is the sprite super clever, the dish itself will grant us 20 health, 62 hunger, which is an odd number, but okay then, and then 20 sanity overall. A solid, fun little dish eat up. But if we're talking slices, we can't leave out pizza. So toss in cheese, a few hunks of meat, and a veggie for a beefalo pizza that will restore the same odd number of hunger at 62 total, 20 health, and 15 sanity a much. So good. And I love the fact that some of the sprites are different for when it's in your inventory versus when they're on the ground. That's a very nice touch. And finally, fish yogurt. Using two fresh milk and two fishies, and I can confirm this still works with fresh water ones, mind you, we can have a food item that restores 25 hunger and 40 health, but at the cost of 15 sanity each scoop of the fishy guts. And you know, I really don't blame it there. But there you have it, everyone. A showcase on the lovely Beefalo Milk Mod, and of course, the return of Mod Monday. Thanks again to Black Mirror and Raccoon for their work, and yet another round of applause to you both. Great work on this mod. It truly does show. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Stay cheesy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.